Neighborhood Health Watch is sponsored by the doctors of HCA Virginia. The topic today in Neighborhood Health Watch is menopause and new innovative treatments to help ladies better cope with their symptoms. Menopause affects up to 50 million women starting around age 51. It is a natural biological process that ends fertility, but you can stay healthy and sexual given, and also doctors say given the average life expectancy for women is now 83 years, those going through it will have menopausal issues for a third of their life. And some women are relieved they no longer need to worry about pregnancy, but then there are those symptoms. Dr. Karen Knapp with Henry Michael <laughs> Doctors Hospital is here to talk more about the symptoms and, and treatment. So. What's new and are there any real medical breakthroughs to deal with the symptoms? Well, 2002 was a real topsy-turvy time for us in menopausal medicine. There was a study called the Women's Health Initiative that really changed everything that we thought and believed upside down. But it's turned out to be such a good thing mm -hmm. because so there has been so much good literature and studies and, and there really are um, some breakthroughs. Um, you know, hot flashes and vaginal dryness and other menopausal symptoms bring about 80% of women to the doctor. And I spend a good part of my day going over options for patients that I didn't have to offer them about 20 years ago. It's much more symptom specific, and mm -hmm. you can also really tailor it to a patient's risk factors. Did their mom have breast cancer? Have they had problems? That type of thing. So I find it very exciting, obviously. What, what's your message today to women going through menopause and uh, there are significant others who are oh, that's there. A, that's a good mm -hmm. point. There's significant, sometimes there are significant others come okay, you know, to, okay. to the office, which that's I really good. appreciate because while men age, they don't exactly have the same abrupt transition that women do. Mm -hmm. And I do think that it helps men to understand that. But my take home message is actually my number one message in my office all the time is don't suffer. Okay. Don't suffer and don't be afraid Speak to ask. Speak up and ask for Speak help. Speak up and ask questions and find somebody who knows what they're doing. Um, there's a wonderful organization that's actually the best organization in the world for menopausal medicine called the North American Menopause Society. Those of us who have our specialties in menopausal medicine are certified. They've got a great website. Look for a doctor who's really taken some time, but ask, 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 and don't suffer. And, and don't be afraid to, to no. ask for Actually, help. one of my patients rated me on Google and said, you know, don't be afraid to, are you afraid to doc, ask Dr. Knapp that embarrassing question? Don't ask, don't worry about it. She's going to ask you first. <laughs> <laughs> That's a true story. It Dr. Really Knapp, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. We are better informed. Absolutely. And we appreciate